Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey guys, what's going on? Paul Ravella, ProPhysique.com, and I've got an interesting video today. Hopefully that wind isn't getting in the camera. I'm gonna hide here in my garage. But um, So it's Friday afternoon, early afternoon, late morning, around uh, noon. And um, the reason I mentioned the time is because I had to fast this morning until we got our body composition um, results back. Lauren Conlon is a exercise science grad student at the University of South Florida and I've been taking classes there as well. Um, so Dr. Campbell, who runs the exercise science department, is actually very interested in the physique enhancement part of the um, equation when it comes to exercise science, which is not always the case. So Lauren invited me and Lane to come in and get our body composition or body fat analysis done. This is not something I've, I think I've done it maybe a few times in my life. Uh, I did a bod pod last year about this time. Um, and you know, for, for the sake of competition, I'm just not that interested in what body fat results say because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter when you get on stage what the comp results say, it matters how you look. So I've always focused more on reaching that body fat level where you can see the detail in the entire physique. But I thought it was an interesting idea I thought it would make for some interesting um, results. And now that we have a baseline, we'll be able to compare it in the future because we'll have these tests available to us because over at USF, um, they're really building a nice program there around physique sports, physique enhancement sports. Dr. Campbell's actually um, working on possibly having a club there. And so Lane and I went in today and I'll just give you a background. The test we did was uh, two-fold. It was a caliper measure, a seven site. Let me make sure I got this name right. I don't have the name here. I think it's the Jackson Pollock. Seven site caliper. And then they also did a ultrasound of the, of the area, which is nice because it gives you a, a proper reading. So I'll just give you my results. Um, I'm not going to give you all the results of like every little measurement where she got the measurements. I don't think that really matters. If you're interested, I could put a screenshot up of it. Um, so the spots they did were chest, scapula, axilla, tricep, waist, hip, and thigh. And my body fat came back at 8.1% and I had 194 pounds of lean body mass and 17 pounds of fat mass. My weight on the scale was 212. My weight on my scale at home this morning was 210 when I left and I didn't eat anything or drink anything after I woke up. So. There's about two pound difference from the scales. So, interesting. Uh, which means I was about five or six pounds heavier than stage weight. So, most of that would have been fat mass. So, you'd probably be looking at a considerable amount less body fat um, for my men's physique competition. And uh, it'll be interesting when I do compete in physique again and in bodybuilding again to compare these results because it'll, it'll, it'll be nice to have them. Um, and then of course afterwards, Lauren, Lane and I went out to breakfast because we had fasted. So we went to First Watch and uh, had a good meal and a good laugh and some coffee and good times. So overall, it was just an interesting day. It's just, um, it's, it's an interesting take on body fat. I, I kind of like the results. I don't really know what I was expecting. I think 8% is a pretty accurate. I don't know if I'd consider myself that lean, but I guess I am. I mean, I have, you know, abs around the clock and you know pretty good detail in all my physique so I guess eight percent Lane's results came back uh, pretty similar to mine I think he was nine point seven percent body fat and uh, he was a, a pound was he a pound or two lighter than me anyway I'll post his results we got Lane, I'll, I'll have here here's Lane giving his results go nine point seven percent body fat uh, fat mass of twenty point three pounds and lean body mass of one eighty nine point two pounds Jacked and pale. Very much. 
Um, anyway, guys, so I'm going to go edit this footage, put it together, get it out today, because I think it's worth having. Um, and uh, hope you enjoy it. So here's us in the lab with uh, Dr. Campbell, Lauren Conlon, Lane Norton, and myself. Bye. The official way in. For our match. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I mean, how much? All right, is this a printer? Yeah. Oh, this should be like the 207. Is this a scale? Yeah, 209.5. Oh, you weren't making the Arnold. You weren't making the Arnold anyway, Faker. I know, right? Yeah. Here. That's mean. All right, my turn. All right, so leave it right there. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. I'm going to do the final Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody been squatting. Mr. Olympia for guys over 6'3". Yeah. Six, <laughs> um, so There's a lot of room in here for activities. I know, right? We shouldn't move, we're supposed to move, right? Uh, Campbell, do you need this stuff? Uh, wh who? What's his name? I need that, but you guys can go. No, I know, but did you write down her stuff? I didn't want to exit out oh, of Oh, yes. Yep, I got everything out Okay. That's why Leave the word you're searching for is Dr. Dr. Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> We're going to a hard time, Bell. Do you hear that I call you Campbell? Oh, well, if this is going to be on the internet, I want it to be Dr. Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It might be on the Google machine. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. The Google machine. Do, um, the peck pop. Calipers? First, the peck pop. Oops. No, peck first, pop. we do calipers. Stand up. Yeah, stand up. I'm going to have a whole lot of titty there. <laughs> what? You're grabbing a whole lot of titty, but like, No, it wasn't. I don't know. That's your skin. How do you do your thing? Um, turn it back. Right hand behind your back. Paul and I are just delirious from lack of food and fluid. I kind of like did the you, Did you just give me a face? And then I enjoy them more. Oh, ho, ho. Face the front. The film may have stopped there, Paul. Right, right hand up. Yeah, we're not used to not having so much the the grass. No, here. I just love like the thin the thin like I work out skin. I ain't trying to have no kids ruin this body. That that true. That <laughs> I'm trying to ruin this body. <laughs> um, can you move this up? Don't flex. Yeah, don't flex, Paul. <laughs> no, it actually. I know it's hard. No, everyone always tries to flex their tricep. I'm like, calm down. I'm trying to measure this. <laughs> So you don't put that foot up? I don't do that. I don't want to show. The only person. Um, and vice versa. So there's seven sites um, that we use, a seven site test. And so essentially what this is. And they're using some sort of linear regression algorithm to yes. determine the, what the body fat is from that. It's the seven sites, Jackson and Pollock. It uses male, um, it uses, uh, gender, uses age. Um, weight, and then there's three categories, elite, athletic, or non-athletic. The biggest difference is elite, usually, if you don't put it on elite, it'll throw the stomach um, out to a higher um, millimeter. So what is Paul? Is he elite? <clears throat> yes. Um, ah! Sorry, my hand? No, no, the gel. Uh -oh. That's like a weird spot. Yeah, I know, this is the most awkward. Can you imagine doing this on girls, how awkward this is? The sports and stuff. Face front. I think the important thing to realize is even Dex is 100% completely accurate. People I think, think Dex's are. I'll go on record saying that I do not agree with Dex's for elite athletes. Yeah, they're. they're um, I think they're very inaccurate. Actually, when we when we did them, we even had quite a bit of variability within subjects. Like we'd take somebody do a Dexa, do it again, and we'd get like a full percent or two off from their first reading, and that's why we always did. <laughs> that's why it took us a long time. We always did Dexa in triplicate. Yeah, and like you said, when you when you're trying to give somebody their body oh. fat percentage, you're assuming that they have a given density of muscle, no. a given density of fat, based off of cadavers that were collected decades ago. Right. With what we're, the way that we do this, we're we, like you just said, we're physically seeing what we're measuring. There is no estimation. There's no algorithm. There's no regression equation. We're measuring with sound waves. How thick is your fat? Yeah, and that's why some people I'll see them when they. When they do um, 
I mean, like prepping for a contest, I don't even worry about what the algorithm says for body fat percentage. No, they just look at their at their skin folds, and if their skin folds are going down, then they worry about then that. You know. Yep. All right, doctor, you're up. What, what to say? What to say? Uh, eight point one percent body fat. I don't believe it. 194 lean body mass, 17 pounds of fat, fat ass, mass. Yeah. Nice. That's seems like pretty reasonable. I'm happy to maintain that. That's good. Um. Yeah. <laughs> if she does pitch a good bit of yeah. steady, doesn't she? You gotta get the skin. Okay. okay. In the back. I'm, I'm not mad at you. Right hand behind your back. Hands against the wall. Perp. Man. You can't laugh on laughing. <laughs> I laughed too. Can't believe the words. You guys think I heard. He's like, wow. <laughs> he literally does that. He's like, where's your hip? I'm like, ah! <laughs> My subject was pulled over. That's why she's late. Oh. So she's um, you just have to make sure you're kind of like pressing into it. Otherwise, it'll happen. I don't know why it's cold in some places and not others. Like you didn't say it was cold anywhere else. Okay. Okay. Uh, 9.7! Boom! Not bad. So here. You I, won though. I read Lean your results. Lean and body mass. Well, I'm 6'3". <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what was your what was your numbers? Nine point seven percent body fat, uh, fat mass of twenty point three pounds, and lean body mass of one eighty nine point two pounds. Jacked and pale. Um, I want to I want to look at the differences between like, where you guys hold fat. It's just okay. Different. Instagram fitness. Yeah, seriously. Are you really that close to my face? <laughs> I don't have a lot of choice with this camera. I know, it's like looking at my eye. How's my eyeliner look? Excellent. That's a pretty good picture. <laughs> I'll sit over here, my lonely pancake. There we go. Face made for radio. Are you taking a picture of your pancake?